This is National 5 Homework on Surds and I'm using the uh, Pegasus 2013 resource pack for, this, uh, for the questions that are here. What we're going to cover in this short clip, we're going to cover question 1 A and B, 2 and question 3. And uh, if you have any difficulty with these then certainly see me at any time, go and try some of the uh, additional questions from the pack that you've got or uh, borrow a textbook and try some, some from there. So let's go ahead and see how we solve some of these uh, problems that we've got here. So first one here we're going to simplify. Simplify root 147 subtracting 5 root 3. So usually what we're looking for here is we're trying to get the surge with a square number multiplied by another number. Um, sometimes when you get a question like this here, the clue there would probably be a root 3 would probably work with this one here. Um, so root 3 times another number would give us root uh, 147. So actually that's the way we're going to go ahead and do this one. So two numbers that multiply together to get uh, 147 would be 49 and 3. So what we'll start off here with is root 49 and root 3, because they multiply together to get the 147. After I get them together, I'm going to subtract root uh, 5 root 3. Here we go. So we've got 7 root 3. Take away 5 root 3. And if I just subtract them, finish up with 2 root 3. And that would be that complete. That's as simple. That's as simplified as far as I can go. Right, for B, what we've got is we've got uh, a bracket here. And we're trying to simplify this one as far as we can go as well. So I've got a bracket that I need to multiply out. The only difference here is we've got surds that we're multiplying. And at the end I'm going to subtract a surd as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So multiplying surds. So the first thing I'm going to multiply out are these two guys here. So I've got root 2 times root 3. So that should give me root 6. I'm then going to multiply root 2 times root 2. Which should give me plus root 4. So that's a bracket multiplied out. And then I've got the subtracting the root 6 on at the end there. Now if I look at what I've got here, I've got root 6 take away root 6. So these will disappear and all I've got left here is uh, root 4. And I know the answer for root 4, the square root of 4, is just 2. So that would be my final answer there. So let's see the marks that we've got here. We've got two marks for each of these questions. One mark we'll get for simplifying down the root 147 and the other mark for the, the, final, the final simplified uh, version for that question. One mark here for multiplying out the bracket and one mark for getting the, the finalised answer there too. So that's four marks so far for the homework. Let's look at question two and three. Right, so in this one here we have to express 2 root 5 plus root 20 minus root 45 as a surd in its simplest form. Right, so we've got a bit of simplifying to do, especially with these two here. This can't be simplified any further. And again, if I'm looking for a clue, the kind of root 5 is going to kind of help me out a wee bit here. Right, so at the start I've got 2 root 5, two numbers that multiply to get 20, one of them is a square number. Well, I've got 4 and 5, so I can go for square root of 4, square root of 5. Because these two multiply together, give me root 20. I'm going to subtract from that um, two numbers that multiply together to get 45, one of them is a square number. So I've got square root of 9 and square root of 5. So the square root of 5 is appearing in all of these now. Right, let's take the square root of the square numbers that we have. So I've got 2 root 5 plus 2 root 5 minus 3 root 5. So these two together, that's 4 root 5. So I'll just write that one in, just this extra line here. And from that I'm going to subtract 3 root 5. So that leaves me with 1 root 5 or just root 5. So that's just the same as 1 root 5. Okay, marking for this question here. What we've got is, again, we've just got two marks for this one. We're going to get one mark for getting this line here. So basically what we're getting here, the mark for, simplifying root 20 and the root 45 down to here. And gathering everything up and subtracting, we've got the, uh, the root 5 as the final answer would be the, the second mark. Right, so we're going to be looking 